Hey guys, um, today we're gonna, um, today I'm gonna teach you how to print out some really high quality proxy images that you can use for your proxy cards. And this tutorial is mainly aimed for people who want to print out transparencies and glue them onto um, foil cards. So the things that you'll need today are um, Photoshop an inkjet printer, some transparency papers made for inkjets. So what we want to do first is we're going to go to these two websites um, which I will link below. First one is a Dropbox of um, community made um, pro uh, cards or scans like you, you can go to this one um, some alternative art stuff um, but mainly we want to we want to we want to get a card from here just to use as a base for um, laying out the high quality scan. So we're gonna take um, let's actually take yeah we'll take this one, save it. We want to click save here at the bottom. We we don't want to right click save image because um, I find that doing that makes the image. Um, corrupted for some reason. I don't know how that works, but um, so I already have this image saved, so I'm not going to bother with it. And the next website is um, this website right here. It's uh, it's on forms. They have uh, two links, which are torrents. Um, you want to first get this first one, which is a three gig pack of um, high quality scans which include like crops and the full card itself and then the the update and the they update these um pretty often so you don't have to worry so what we want to do is you want you want to put those that that base card that we saved somewhere where we can access them easily so make a folder on your desktop um i already have the hd scans already downloaded so I have them over here now what I have here is I have a few cards that I want to print out um, later on and as you can see here if we zoom in um, the quality um, is much better than what you would get off of um, other proxy websites proxy generators all that stuff um, because they use lower resolution images. Um, the images that we're going to download today are higher resolution images, which um, these these guys here at um, this forum make. They take their time. They dedicate their time to making um, quality scans. I think they do these by... Um, Photoshop. They actually scan the fo the the card, and then redo the um. They redo like all the font and stuff. So that's pretty nice of them. So what we want to do is we want to make a new layout. You're not gonna use mine because if I uploaded them, it'd be like 300 megabytes. So we're gonna you're gonna make a new one, and you're gonna have these as uh. US paper. We're going to print them on um, paper size, which is um, 8.5 8 8 inches and 11 inches. So we're going to cl click, actually, before we click OK, we need to put these at 600 dpi. And if we don't print up, print these out at 600 dpi, it's going to look pretty bad. So we're going to click OK, and we have mm, basic portrait and um, you can either do a portrait or landscape, depending on what you want to do. But if we do a portrait, you can fit up to nine cards, whereas uh, a landscape, you can only fit up to eight cards. But I find that the landscape um, gives you a lot more room to cut these out. So we're going to do landscape today. Now what we want to do is we want to take that that photo that we took from the Dropbox and just place it in here 
Now, when we place it in here, don't do anything to it because it's already sized correctly. Um, it's already sized the way we want it. Now, what we want to do is we'll duplicate this layer, put it over, give it a little bit of room because when we're, when we're cutting this, you want a little bit of room. Now, we, we can uh, duplicate those two, move it over. Now we're going to duplicate all four, move it down. Actually, I'll center this. Now we have our basic layout for pretty much putting the cards up. Actually, these are... I think the, the ones on the Dropbox are pretty high quality too. Yeah, they look like it. So if there if you want some alternate um artworks, just print them out. Um now what we want to do is we take the 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 scans from the second website that you torrented and we're going to uh, they have folds which are pretty much the the, the ca entire card itself and they pretty much have from alpha to um I think Ravnica is the latest one right now. So we're gonna pick out we're gonna pick out a set. Let's pick out future site. Let's lay out some uh just pick a random card or whatever card you want. Just place it in Photoshop. I'll just put a Nimbus Maze there, just, just cause. So we're gonna place the Nimbus Maze, and when we put it in here, it's gonna be at the resolution that it's set at. And it's a little bit too big, but we're gonna place it anyways. Put these on the top layer. Now we have a really high quality scan of the Nimbus Maze. Now what we want to do is we're gonna resize this by um, going to the Transform tool. And we're gonna hold shift and we're gonna resize these down. So we're gonna put it on this first card right here. And we're gonna resize it. Just you don't have to be exact the first time around, but we're gonna place that and we're gonna make it a bit transparent. And we're gonna line up the edges exactly. Actually, we're going to line up the bottom edge exactly. After that's been lined exactly. Actually, let's do it up here because it's not. I mean, you don't have to be exact, but if you're a perfectionist, you want these pretty close and there we go we have a Nimbus maze and if you want to print out like multiple just duplicate the layer and these these actually snap um, to where we want them pretty well so that that one snapped pretty well um, the next ones are gonna snap in well with the other cards and these uh, these are high quality scans. Like when you print these out and then put them on foils, you won't you won't like you'd be amazed. And you can use these for non foil proxies, but you know we're gonna we're gonna do the the foil method for today. So now we've lay out some nimbus mazes let's do another card as well just cuz let's go to alpha put out black lotus just just because it's a black lotus Ugh. Oh, well that scan isn't that great but and just remember that when you're doing like alpha beta stuff things in legacy um, their borders are different 
so they're not going to fit on like the modern style borders. Well, if you print these out the way you have them. So there's a black lotus. Not exactly, but might as well put in that. Oh, wait. I need to put this at 100%. Put this at 100% as well. And just lay these out. Bunch of black lotuses that we're going to print out. Make foils of, even though there was never a foil black lotus ever. And now that we have laid these out. You want to print these at um, 600 dpi, of course. Print these out. Make sure you have these. Make sure you have the layout as uh, how you want it. Um, basically, depending on the type of printer you have, um, make sure. I find that printing on as transparency or set it when you set it to print on transparency, it doesn't look quite as good as I'd wanted to but like I think if you print it as high quality gloss or semi gloss um, it looks a lot better just mess just mess with them um, just mess with the settings get the right ones um, you're not gonna come into uh, any problems with um, sharpness because the, these images are already high quality from the get-go um, but if your printer has um, font sharpness that definitely is a plus and like those already look pretty darn good on Photoshop and like if we if we use a image from like wizards or anything you're not gonna get the same quality um, as these ones so with that you can actually save this as your template just lay out some cards um, what I do is I actually lock these I lock the, the the under the base make a new folder put them in there and forget about them like we're not gonna deal with that they're already laid out perfectly for us um, and if you find that your the the cards are either too small or too big, um, just uh, print them out at like ninety nine percent scaling or whatever percent scaling. Just use a uh, use regular cheap paper. Print them out black and white, um, so you don't use any toner or anything. Just print those out check them, see if they fit. If they don't, um, redo them, do use different settings and all that. And that's how you, and that's how we get high quality scans and um, printing, for, for printing, I should say. And that's it for this video. Tune in 